Hi, Marek here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your po video podcast about anything Photoshop and Lightroom and photography related. This this time, what I want to tell, show you about is the new dehaze feature in Camera Raw in Photoshop CC 2015 and in Lightroom CC. Now, there have been a number of examples of dehaze online. But here's another approach to taking dehaze. So instead of working on the images on where you have, say, early morning mist in the image, I was going to work on this image here with the image of the night sky. Got this image in here. I'm going to open Camera Raw as a filter in here in Photoshop CC 2015. So it opens in here in Camera Raw. I'm just going to quickly make a few adjustments. So, I'm just going to make blacks darker, add a bit more clarity. Now you can see when you add clarity, it doesn't do anything in the sky. It does add the clarity in here, the bottom part, but not to the stars in the sky in here. So just a little bit, not too much. Add a bit more contrast, again, not too much, just a little bit. And then, we'll go to the haze, which appears here in, under effects. There's a new option, the haze here. Yeah. And we're just going to take the haze all the way to maximum. Look what happens with the sky. What happens with these stars in here as well. It makes them stand out and it does a much better job than using contrast or blacks or clarity. It's just days. Just another example of using the haze, the new feature in Camera Raw in Photoshop CC 2015 and Lightroom CC. Okay. Also, one announcement for you, as you may have heard or you may have seen online, there will be made a quite a big announcement that they're not going to add more features to Adobe Camera Raw. Just have a look on my blog. It's all in here. Well, there will be no uh, new Camera Raw updates to CS6 users. End of Camera Raw updates. So if you're on Photoshop CS6, there will be no new, well, there will be one more new update, Camera Raw 9.1.1. We're not sure when it's coming out yet. But after that, there will be no new features, which kind of makes sense. We saw it coming because Adobe be uh, moving on with the Creative Cloud, the subscription-based system. So keep that in mind, because if you're on CS6, you won't be able to open RAW files from new cameras unless you convert them to DNG using Adobe a digital uh, negative converter. Okay? So just something for you. And just remember, have a look on my website, saitrain.co.uk, for some more information about my uh, courses, Lightroom, Photoshop, and other Adobe certified courses. So this was Photoshop Lightroom TV, dehaze this week. I hope you enjoyed it. A quick tip on dehaze in Photoshop CC 2015. And see you in the next episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Thank you for watching.